All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Souls Gathering Together um, meditation. I'm just going to go live here on Instagram as well. So um, this is the weekly meditation that I always enjoy doing. I love talking to you all. Um, sitting in a different place today in my living room on my couch, just trying to keep it interesting. So this evening I wanted to talk about, um, about astral travel an astral travel meditation I was going to offer for you, do for you. Um, but first, before we do that, as you, you guys all know, I, I also, um, talk a little bit about just current events and how to manage all the stuff in our, in our lives. <laughs> Um, and you know, before I do, when I do, um, guided meditations, what I, I like to do them for this community, I originally started doing them for this community I facilitate called soul, soulful work community. And, um, you know, so we meet monthly and it's people that I created this community seven years ago, maybe to help people just connect with each other and find like-minded friends and learn, explore and grow together. So anyway, um, and then I decided to open it up to a larger community because I just think it's so important to really, you know, connect with meditation and I wanted to share that. Um, so I asked a few people what they thought what was on their mind or during this time and what they could use help with. And, and a few people did share with me what they're um, seeking support on, around. And this is what one, one, so a few things that they shared were just how to manage, how to, you know, hold um, hope and keep focusing on the light in, in the midst of all these shadows that are coming up, all this stuff that we're being faced with right, right in front of our faces. Um, that it's really hard to deal with, not only just in the collective and all these mandates and just insanity, right. Um, but also in our individual lives with people, you know, family members and friends, um, who are, presenting whatever sort of challenge that we are experiencing. And then another that we experience, and then another person um, talked about just how to manage low, the low vibrational energies and, and how to, you know, navigate those. And, um, and when they, when we come across them. And so those are things I kind of address a lot, but I will share just, you know, for me, what I do and what's helped me, um, cope because it's easy to get stuck in like real defeatism and just like how to, you know, how, how do we find the good and what's happening? Because if you focus on the news, they, their job is to bombard us with fear, right? With like just, um, all kinds of stuff to make us scared, to make us scared, to make us divided, to keep us distracted from what's really going on. But so if we think that that's really all that there is, and it can seem like we're living in this horrible nightmare world, but remember that's not all there is. That's just what this specific, very tightly controlled, um, you know, the, the cabal, the, whoever it is that you, you know, the controllers, the, um, Mr. Global, I somebody said that, you know, they have this, it's all owned by a certain number of, you know, corporations, they have very tight control over the media and they're all, you know, they're henchmen or in the government, various corporations. <laughs> and, um, so it's, it's all just controlled manipulation, right? And so if, if we think that that's real, then yeah, we can get sucked into that reality. Um, and, but it's not what's real. There's so many more people awakening now. There's so much, there's, there's, I mean, we, it, there's so it's all with all the things that are so ridiculous. And yes, we know some people like, how do they believe that? How are they going along with that? These people that we once respected, right? Or maybe we still do, but we don't understand why they're believing this. Um, but the, again, it's a very, there's more and more and more people are awakening. Um, so, you know what, but it doesn't mean that we don't feel the energy and the emotions around it. So I had been feeling just a lot of anger about, um, these mandate, these completely nonsensical, absurd things that are coming through. They're in various places, some of them very close to me. And, um, and, and I just knew I needed to release those emotions because you know, I go in the Akashic records for my health and healing, but sometimes it's not enough because we still feel the emotion. It just, if we don't let the anger out, if we don't let the sadness out, any negative emotion, like a, you know, I like to use this analogy, but it's like a volcano that's trying to explode. If we, if we don't let it out, 
then it's going to come out in weird ways. Well, you know, I find that if I don't let it out, I just be irritable just in general, because it's just the simmering irritation and frustration. So I went out one day and I just, I, um, and, you know, we need to move that energy and the emotions through our bodies. So I was, I talked about this in a video, but I went snowshoeing and I just started running, you know, with my snowshoes on, which was really hard to do and just ran, 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 ran. And I felt emotions shifting, you know, as I was clunking through the snow and I felt just some of this anger leaving my body. And then below that anger was sadness and just allow, allowed the tears, um, sadness for some of what's happening. It's heartbreaking to see uh, people un getting sick unnecessarily and, um, and just, you know, poisoning themselves really unnecessarily. It's just heartbreaking. Uh, but it's, you know, when we come up into this higher place of just seeing like the, the global, the higher perspective of this massive shift in consciousness, this is how we awaken. It doesn't mean we think, oh, it's all okay when people get sick and, and or die, but um, but it's part of the shifting. It's part of what our soul level, a lot of us decided before incarnating here. So I think, you know, that is my answer, I guess, to one of those, um, the points that somebody brought up is just emotional release, you know, being outside, letting the emotions be cleared. Um, and, and then, you know, connecting with some light, with some divine guidance, just all, I find that, um, it takes some time to do that because there's so much noise around us that, you know, it can take like just really a, a mat a feeling light flowing in your body, just intentionally allowing it, imagining it flowing through your body, opening your heart. What is here with me? What is this? What is the, what is this loving energy that you may feel or who is here based in love, right? It could be God that you want to connect with, angels, spirit guides, could be different ascended masters, um, but just feeling their energy and then that you, or that opens the connection and that helps to just feel that we're comforted, that we're not just here in this completely insane mess by ourselves. Um, and then meditation, you know, so all these different things, right? It's like emotional release, connecting with higher guidance, quieting the mind because meditation helps us come back to that place of center and get out of the fight or flight and just, you know, it's like clears everything away. Um, when we come back to just, you know, coming back to the breath, noticing the breath rising and falling in our, uh, in our body, in our bellies, um, going, taking that in, going to that internal place. It's just, there's space there. There's, that's, there's consciousness there. And when there's so much noise around us, it's like ah, taking a breath, you know? Um, so then, and then, you know, there's some practical things like don't check the news, right? Don't read that stuff. Cause it's, if even just, Oh, they did now they're doing this and now they're doing this. And now there's this, it's just constant. Right. And it's like, just unplug, don't read it. If it's not serving you, just don't check it. Um, and protect yourself, you know, with people. There's, so the second question that, um, this, somebody had said, mentioned is how to manage the low vibrational energies. And if there's no, I don't believe there's any one right answer to that. I think um, some people are meant to be in places for whatever reason, they're just the energy is calling them there that are, that contain a lot of low vibrational energies. One of the, it might be public school or, or like some like really, you know, um, real workplace with all these rules and mandates. And, and I think eventually a lot of people are going to be guided away from those places because they're not, they're falling away, they're crumbling. But, um, but if you find that you're there in it's like 3d situation or somebody else, somebody in your life is, there's a reason probably. And you feel like it's just, you're just meant to be there for a little while longer. You're probably meant to bring light into that, that place, or you're meant to learn from that experience. You know, how do we learn forgiveness? We experience something that needs to be forgiven. How do we learn about um, freedom? We experience the opposite of that oppression. So that's how, you know, with reincarnation and past lives, that's how it works. We experience the opposite to really learn um, that whatever soul lesson our soul has chose, chosen to work on in this life, you know, and how do you know? Well, you usually know because there's energies flowing in a certain direction or not. If you feel like, you know, it, you kind of just know, like things just work out in a way. But if you're, 
if you are, um, I remember my old job, I just, I wanted to leave, wanted to leave. And then I kept, it just getting, it kept getting worse and worse. Like things kept happening that were worse and worse. And I was like, I'm not supposed to be here anymore. So I had to make that choice because we have free will to say, okay, I'm going to leave. I'm making an exit plan, which is me, which is what I hired a life coach to help me, you know, uncover this business really. But, um, so I think, you know, there can be a reason we're still interacting with low. We, we all are going to be still interacting with 3D, with people in lot higher, lower, you know, how do I say this? A different dimension, right? And then even even in, you know, 40, 5D, there's still lower vibrational energies, right? Whatever, I think there's still things that we come across. How do we manage that? Come starts from within, bringing in light, coming from that place of centeredness. You know, all, it's all about light, protection, um, visualizing yourself in a, how do you want to be in a certain situation and being that way. Like I had, when we see ourselves doing something, we pick get a mental, mental picture. It's much more likely to happen. Um, so, you know, and I think the more we can focus, like find, you know, create, focus on creating the new earth, which might be, you know, just make a, well, it's winter now, but I was gonna say garden or to grow something, you can grow something indoors. Um, go, meet, connect with some animals, do some mindful walking, host a potluck, uh, go volunteer. You know, there's so many things that we can do that we connect us back to the earth, to each other, to these more basic ways of living, of sharing, um, resources and being in community with others. And that will fill our cup. So that gives us like more of a purpose of something positive that we're working towards. And if you don't, you know, how do I find those things? ask, ask to be guided. I'm a big fan of asking angels to guide us to things and then take a risk, you know, reach out, put something out there, you know, the social media can be good for some things. Hey, does anybody know this or this or this? And, um, you know, just if somebody pops in your mind, a person or a place or some, you hear, you know, somebody keeps saying to you, oh, you should talk to this person. You should check this out. You're probably being guided to that. So then you have the ego that will say, oh, well, you know, you're too busy or what if they say no? And that's where that's just how, you know, this may seem like very practical, you know, mundane things, but they are absolutely a hundred percent how we ascend, how we move into our light bodies, in my view, at least, and into our, into sharing, expanding into our light, into 5D is by moving through these little like individual situations that may not seem connected to 5D, but they are because it's clearing out our own shadows. So, okay. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> what does this have to do with actual travel? Not much, but it does. All right. I'm going to, uh, oops. Okay. I'm going to do the meditation now. I'm going to put my earpiece in to have it come in nice and loud and clear. So I actually had um, this flower essence that my friend Brooke gave me called Datura flower essence. Maybe somebody knows about it, but it helps you travel to different dimensions and you know move between different planes and so i had some of this the other day and i was like yeah we'll see what happens and you know i my experience of going to different dimensions is often in the akashic records but this time i said well, i'm just going to see what happens um if i don't go in the records and what happened was i felt this archangel it was a little being of light guiding me into these you know, literally like through a tunnel, through the light, through to an, a place where I was receiving this like upgrade with all these different sorts of light. And then I was, and then I was literally probably some other planet. And this was all, I was awake. You know, this was just like happening. Um, and then I was, um, my, my consciousness from this other planet or wherever it was, was being projected into a different place. So I was another, I was literally like, um, projecting almost like an alternate reality, a parallel reality of my soul kind of going in different places at simultaneously. Uh, it was really cool. And I was, it, I feel, and I, when I, when I was asking, you know, what is, why am I experiencing this? Um, what came up was that it was, I was being trained, you know, I was attuned, tuning to these different ways of working with our, um, with our with ourselves with our astral bodies which can travel out of our physical bodies so that's what something that we're all going to be exposed to as we move into these higher states of consciousness it's a really fascinating way to just operate and to be so um i'm gonna 
guide you in something to do something like that here. So you may, this isn't going to be super long, um, but we're just going to see what happens. You may or may not actually experience this. Um, you may need to take some time in meditation um, to just kind of connect. And so if I'll record this and I'll post it uh, again, and you could do that on your own again. Uh, so, all right. That's really cool to hear you had a dream. That's cool. So close your eyes. Take a deep breath in. Slow exhale. Your next breath in, imagine you're breathing in light. It's flowing through your body. Imagine this light is like laser beams. They're beginning to flood your body. It's as if there were multiple laser beams, multiple lines of light flowing up and down through your body in varying directions. Some of them curve, some of them are straight. So send your breath up along those lines and then down along those lines and send the breath around and through. Colors, allow, imagine the colors, allow this light and this breath to cleanse and as you breathe up and down through your body, you feel that now this light, these rays of light, these lines of light are pushing out past your physical body, out into the space around you. So you're moving your consciousness beyond the limitations of your skin and bones, beyond your physical material self, beyond form out into the outer layers of your etheric body. And just feel that you're like, it's almost like jelly. Like it, you can just, you know, if you had a bowl of jello, it's fluid out there. So just so you get used to this for a moment. And imagine that your awareness is somehow being drawn up and out of your body. It's always, you're always connected to your body through a silver cord. This is how you could stay connected to your physical body. That you're being drawn as if there's like a vacuum bringing you out of your body. And allow yourself to remember that this is safe, that you are safe. That this is for your highest good and feel angels around you, beings of light based in pure love who are surrounding you, who are supporting you in this experience. You're taking a journey. You're going on a little trip in your mind. Allow yourself to put your seatbelt on, buckle up, get comfortable, and then with the help of one being of light who appears before you now a few inches in front of your third eye, in your mind's eye, get this image and feeling of a being of light. Tall, powerful, majestic being. You may have a sense of who this is or this familiar to you, if he or she is familiar, or maybe they're, they're not familiar, but you notice just the tones, the shades, the shimmering light around this being. And you trust this being completely and unconditionally, and you know that you are being guided to a place rooted in pure love, higher vibrational states and so you begin to take off guided by this being out through allowing your consciousness to carry you beyond this room you're in out into the space around your house 
out into the sky, into the stars, traveling on a beam of light, a few beams maybe. If you notice those lines, those colors are following you on either side of you and you feel yourself picking up speed as if you're taking off in a plane, it's going, it's soaring, but it's going faster and faster. And you're traveling, like you're sliding almost through these tunnels of light. Like you've seen in movies, you're being whooshed along. But you're completely comfortable. Just fascinated by where you're going to be going. You're being pulled by this energy, drawing you further and away and yet closer to what feels like home. It feels like home because it is your home. Traveling along through portals, in and out of portals, in and out of dimensions, until you land, until you stop. Just notice where you are, where have you stopped? What's around you in this place? How do you feel? What does your body look like or what does the energy look like that is your container in this form you are in? Notice the light. Notice the energies that seem to be surrounding you. Maybe there's beings here to greet you. And notice that they're helping you in some way. Almost as if you're receiving a healing. With that, a sort of an energetic upgrade. your heart opening as you receive this healing and this upgrade. And feel the unconditional love and admiration that these beings have for you. Feel yourself expanding in your consciousness and activating parts of your DNA that you weren't even aware of. Feel yourself learning about who you are and who you've been in simultaneous and concurrent realities in different dimensions and planets, releasing all limits of time and space. Allow yourself to receive some of the information about your parallel lifetimes that you're experiencing currently right now that can help you in your earth incarnation. Take 
become more aware, you're becoming more aware of who you are. You feel yourself now being buttoned up, almost like being zipped up, everything's being aligned. All your chakras are being balanced. Your energies are being balanced. And you realize that you're going to now begin to return back to your body here on Earth, on Gaia. And you give thanks to the beings around you in this place. And they thank you for visiting. And with just your intention and your awareness, you're now somehow instantly back in the room you're in, your physical body. You have somehow been teleported back into your body and just touch your arms, touch your legs, just touch your head, make sure you feel your flesh. And feel all the energy that you had traveled with coming back in closer to you, gathering all that information up around your body, surrounding yourself with this, um, this upgrade. Now just know, set this intention or bring your awareness to the fact that now you have all these tools to carry with you in your earth incarnation and in your mission here on earth and this incredibly important unbelievably amazing time to be alive and maybe even now you have this newfound appreciation and understanding of what you are here to do in 2022 on planet earth one of the most important times throughout human history throughout our galactic history and you get to be here. You volunteered to be here to help anchor in light, to shift consciousness, to share truth, to be in the vibration of love, to express your personal sovereignty, to create the new earth, teach children, future leaders, and any other purpose that you are here for. You now have an understanding of why you're here, well, how important it is and what you need to do moving forward. And you know that you can, that you are strong enough, no matter how dark, no matter how much the shadows show themselves around you and within you, you can do this. This is what you've been training for, for many lifetimes. And you have all the tools you need. So take a deep breath, a nice sigh of relief. Exhaling out, coming back into your body more fully, giving thanks. You can bring your hands in prayer position or over your heart or do whatever you want with your hands, but just giving thanks. Remembering that these beings of pure light, maybe it's Pleiadians, maybe it's Arcturians, maybe it's Syrians, maybe it's Lyrans, maybe it's some other beings altogether. They're always here with you. They're always here to guide us. And all you have to do is ask and call upon them anytime you choose. We give thanks for the blessings of this experience and for the light and healing and higher vibrations here with us. And we honor ourselves and those who have come before us and those who are yet to come in this massive earth shift of consciousness. And we are honored to step in fully to our soul missions. May we 
feel guided, supported, feel equipped, anchored, prepared with the hope of what's coming in our beautiful new age of unity, love, collective healing and earth consciousness. May it be so, and so it is. It is done, it is done, it is done. So you can open your eyes, take a deep breath in, slow exhale, come back into your body, stretch out. I hope that was helpful for you in some way. And uh, I'd love to hear if anybody wants to share what that was like. I'll stick around for a few minutes. Um, Did you pick, what did you pick up on? What did you notice? What did you experience? It takes time to process it all. So take the time you need. I would say, um, write it down, whatever came up and, and that'll help you continue to process it. You're welcome. Um, and, you know, listen to it again, because it, if you, feel like you didn't quite get as much as you wanted that's it's sometimes it just takes time to to move into these different states so um all right that's all i got for this evening um wishing you all many blessings keep holding the light we are it takes time to undo years and years of programming right it takes it takes time so just be patient and do what you need to do to protect yourself to keep focusing on the light um if you want support and help in um doing sharing your light and helping others i still got a few spots two spots to be exact in the intuitive guide soulful work method program there's a link here on my instagram profile and i'll put the link in on facebook and and um that's where you learn how to read the akashic records learn how to do intuitive you know coaching spiritual counseling and start a business powerful way to share light any tips on how to induce this during sleep? Um, yeah, I mean, I would just, I'm just answering a question here. Um, it takes some, you know, taking some breaths, getting into a meditative state, calling upon a divine guide. You're to, just ask them, right? We just got it. That's our free will ask whatever being it is that you trust, or if you just want to say anything that's here for, to help me for my highest good based in pure love, can you help me? Um, travel to these um, different uh, to the dimension that is for my highest good at this time and then you and then sometimes it takes like just you know you're feel, feeling light you're, you're allowing yourself to um, be guided out of your body um, it can be like you know you're it may feel like you're forcing it at first but then eventually um, it's hard to explain you know it's hard to explain it's just it just happens it's like you're having a waking dream it's almost it is like Feel that some of you have done shamanic journey. It can feel like a shamanic journey. You know, it can be helpful. Um, well, if you're falling asleep, this wouldn't be helpful, but music maybe. So, um, yeah, I think just experiment, experiment. I think you might, you might have to just, you know, imagine it first. Like you're just imagining you're doing something. So you're like making up in your mind and then something starts to take over and you start to just feel yourself being pulled in a place and things are happening. So that's, you know, I was guiding you a little bit, but um, in your experiences of Atlantis, that is really interesting. Amazing. Yep, there's so much about Atlantis. We were there, a lot of us, when it fell, right, into ego and, yeah. Oh, I think my phone just died on, on Instagram. All right, well, I guess that's done. <laughs> um, I had I didn't charge my battery today. All right, so that's all, that's all I'm going to say um many blessings to you all i don't know if facebook is even working because I, I don't see like things showing up here but maybe it isn't it's just i can't see it okay take care everyone much love